November 21. When you're fishing for suspended fish, fish that are not laying around anything, when you're fishing for suspended fish that are just out in the water column, where should you fish your lure and keep your lure in relationship to those fish? Now, this is something we've learned a lot about over the last few years with our LifeScope forward-facing Garmin transducers. And when we get to the end of this daily devotional and scripture from the Word of God on a, in a Catch a Better Life book, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go in there and hit that subscribe button right now on YouTube, Catch a Better Life. It's the most important channel on YouTube. Uh, 27 some odd thousand on great people on there. A word from God every day, a devotional built around fishing and a fishing tip. It will absolutely change your life. When we get down to the end of this thing on this fishing tip, I'm going to expound a little bit about what we learned with, with a live scope. And it'll kind of blow you away. And it'll tell you sometimes if you might be fishing with a live scope and fishing around a lot of fish and not being able to catch them. I'm going to tell you how to catch them. I'm going to tell you how to catch them. Uh, today we're looking in the book of Joshua, one of my favorite heroes in the Bible, Joshua, Joshua 1, 8, Joshua and Caleb, the two spies that come back with a good report and said we can certainly capture that land. Let's go get it. Let's go. Let's go. Now there's 10 spies said, no, they're big, ugly people, fortified towns, giants live there. No way we can defeat them. No way we can defeat them. Joshua 1, 8 says, the book of the law shall not depart from your minds but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe it and do according to all that is written in it for then listen to this for then you will it will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success then you will have good success before heading out on a fishing trip we make a list of the items that we make sure that we have everything that we need. So we make a list of the items. We certainly do this when fishing tournaments. We write down everything we think we're going to need uh, before we go. And it works pretty well. That's a great thing to be doing. You know, anytime you go on a fishing trip, write down everything you think you're going to need before you go on that trip. You ever go to the grocery store without a list and still bring back everything that you needed? I've never done that. I, I, I've, I've gone there a lot and never come back with everything I needed if I didn't have a list. I come back with some things I didn't need if I didn't have a list. Our list for life is the Bible. Our list for living a good life and having everything we need is the Bible. God's living word. In today's verse, God gives Joshua. God gives Joshua the keys to success. The keys to joy. The key to prosperity, to great health, to a long life, and the key to unprecedented favor from God himself. What more could you ask for out of life than what I just read? It's all in there. All we need to do is to speak. We need to meditate. We need to observe. We need to do what God wants us to do. That's it. That's it. And we'll be prosperous and successful and healthy and have a long life, have great relationships, we'll have a better life. It's right there in Joshua 1.8. Go in there and look at Joshua 1.8, read it, meditate on it. I've often wondered what would happen if somebody picked up a Bible, they read it, they believed every word, and they lived their life by it day by day. What kind of a remarkable, remarkable person would that person be? I don't know if anyone's ever done that. Many have tried. But my gosh, what would you be if you just picked the Bible up, you read it all, you believed it all, and you lived by it day by day by day? You live by everything that Bible said day by day by day. You'd probably be the most successful, happiest person on earth. Here's our tip for today. When fishing suspended bass... It's better to keep your lure above the fish. It's not only better to keep your lure above the fish, it's probably mandatory to keep your lure above the fish. And let me tell you, I said when we started this, uh, this Catch a Better Life 
uh, reading for today. I told you that I'd tell you a couple things here at the end that's really kind of surprising. One of the things that I hear constantly in fishing with a live scope is I saw a lot of fish out there. I saw some big fish, some fish I thought were double digit fish. I couldn't get them combined. I couldn't make them bite. One of the things that we do as fishermen, and I was as guilty of this as anybody in the world. I think everybody is as guilty when you start using that live scope transducer and, and looking at fish you're trying to catch. We're trying to bring our baits and put them right on the nose of the fish. After all, that's what we try to do when we're fishing a stump or a log or side of a boat dock. We want to get our bait real close to that fish. We jump out there and grab it. Totally, totally different if you're spending a suspended fish. You need to fish your bait above the fish and the clearer the water, listen to me, the clearer the water, the further above your fish, you need to fish your lure. We are actually fishing a lot of suspended fish in January and February, February in some of these clear lakes, 10 or 15 feet above the fish. We see a fish run there laying 20 foot deep, we may be running our lure 10 foot above him. That's right, 10 foot above him. A good rule of thumb is about three or four or five feet. That's a good rule of thumb. A bad rule of thumb is to try to put it right on his nose. Most of the time they won't bite it when they're suspended in that clear water. A good rule of thumb, three to five feet. Five feet's a pretty good rule of thumb. Just run your bait five foot above the fish. Sometimes three foot works better. The dingier the water, the closer you can run your bait to the fish. The clear water lakes that work good for those big fish, January, February, March in the south, five foot, seven foot, 10 foot, musky fishing, exact same thing. Exact same thing. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>